Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. We are from Group 9. We will present to you about our product which is a portable traffic light. Our members consist of 6 members. Includes Ashikin, Hazira, Mimi, Dina, Daniel and Husna and each of us represents of each department. For starters, the introduction will start with problem statement. The first one is manual failure simulation which includes risk errors, signaling inconsistencies and causing uncertainties for drivers and pedestrians at construction zones. The second one is technological upgrade. The deficiencies such as inefficiencies during peak traffic and the lack of real-time data highlight the urgent need for improved system. To improve this, holistic approach for efficiency is needed. Technological innovation, regulatory compliance and practical usability can be the co comprehensive strategy to enhance the traffic management efficiencies. The methodology on data collection for our product consists of who, where, when and how. For who, the market includes a wide range of temporary traffic control needs and includes both the public and private sectors, such as road construction, emergency services, event management, public works, utilities and private contractors. For where, the individuals in both public and private sectors all throughout the country are the specific focus for the data collection. For when, the data collection process takes 1 to 2 weeks depending on the minimum number of respondents achieved. For how, a questionnaire which is Google Forms will be created as part of the quantitative approach to data collecting. There are few limitations that are found in the development process. The first one is the new product challenges. Due to time constraints, observations are limited to internet-based research and the methodology restricted to quantitative techniques. The second one is cost estimation limitations. Focus on the measuring public sentiment, the study approximated the product development, cost without supplementary details. The Consumer Trend Canvas is a technique for studying consumer trends and developing unique ideas based on them. It is a straightforward model with two components analyze and apply. The left-hand side, the analyzation side, aids in completely identifying and comprehending the trend under consideration. This study is organized into four sections, which is the basic needs, inspiration, drivers of changes, and also emergency expectation. The process of coming up with creative business concept is based on basic needs, drivers of changes, emerging consumer expectation, inspiration, and trend found during a foresight session is known as idea generation. In the context of the customer trend canvas, for our product, we decided to create a portable traffic light to manage traffic flow and also to increase the safety in a temporary traffic management circumstances such as the maintenance, road traffic, road construction or special events that occur. Portable traffic lights are self-powered and may be controlled from a safe distance uh, which is lowering the danger of injury for the road workers or the traffic controllers. It is also functioning to controlling the traffic during the construction, maintenance or also the special event that requires the capacity to adjust to changing traffic patterns and regulate the traffic flow in the real time. Other than that, a dependable and effective way to manage the traffic flow is required in this scenario in which there lack traffic signal or when the ones that are present are broken. With the use of the portable traffic light, you may temporarily regulate the traffic effectively while still managing all the features of the typical signal such as turning lane, course walk for pedestrian, and emergency intervention. In conclusion, this product generation can solve few problems occurs in the meantime in terms of safety for the pedestrian, road workers, emergency team, and many more. The next is ID screening where it is to identify and prioritize the most promising concept. So the ID filtering comes from the original traffic light whereby it used three different kind of LED light that illustrate green as move, yellow indicate cautious and red indicate stop. So the idea coming also from the original traffic flagger where it is actually a person who is responsible to manage traffic flow around the construction site. So based on this ID screen earlier, flexi signal comes in very handy to replace the traffic flagger by using the mechanical work from original traffic light to control a very busy traffic. In the context of customer trend canvas, market survey functions as a tool to gather insights on our product, which is the portable traffic light. Market survey involves the process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting data through the questionnaires that we have distributed to our target consumers. 
The new product development process is an organized approach of bringing a new product to market, beginning with brainstorming an idea and also progression to determining the market fit, the easing it out, prototyping and also the ultimate commercialization plan. The procedure may be divided into stages, which is the first one is the research and development, the product design, the concept testing, build prototype, test marketing, and also last but not least, the commercialization. Research and development refers to the organized activity aimed at discovering new information products or processes. Typically, innovation is involved in R&D for new products. R&D is a process where the businesses engage in create and introduce new goods and also services as well as improve their present offers. In R&D process, CTC is a tool to use in the research and development process in which it is a framework that created to assist organizations in understanding consumer trends and also developing unique ideas based on such trends. The procedure for the idea phases of this process is based on the constant occurrence of heavy traffic in both urban and rural regions as a result of construction emergencies, natural disaster and power outages. And the efficiency of current technology is limited to particular sector and it is uncommon during critical time. This is because the worker who is directing the traffic works in dark condition with no straight light increasing the danger of an accident for occurring. Hence, the concept of the improvement might assist in eliminating or lessen likelihood of the accidents occurring. This new solution would allow traffic to proceed safely without the need for workers or police officers to address the mess which would be dangerous for them to be working in. As you can see, this is our product dimension and in our flexi signal, we do have a variety of features. One of it is microwave traffic detector. When a vehicle enters its detection region, the microwave traffic sensor will recognize them and provide input to the traffic controller, requesting a green service at the same moment. And then we have countdown timer, where the countdown meter actually helps alert car and pedestrians to the upcoming change in the light as the green light near its finish. And we also use generator mount where the design for this generator mount requires stainless hex bolts in order to secure the generator mount to the frame. We use diesel generator because diesel engines are renowned for their endurance, dependability and also fuel efficiency. In our flexi signal, we utilize solar panel system whereby it helps to convert heat source into electric as the main power source. Not to forget that we use the remote monitoring system where it's actually a system that enables users to keep watch on control gadgets from a distance. Apart from that, we use a handheld remote that users may easily comprehend and use the controls without consulting a handbook. And last but not least, we use a wireless video system that allows the operator to be safely positioned in a work vehicle while still safely visually monitoring and also controlling traffic flow from afar. Concept testing is a market research technique that is used to evaluate the viability and appeal of a new product which is in our case is flexi signal portable traffic light. So the objective of concept testing is to gather feedbacks and insights from potential customers to assess their feasibility, acceptance and also potential success of our product. So we did our concept testing by distributing questionnaires to 75 potential customers from different backgrounds and all the responses are being discussed and elaborated later. Since we have included an introduction of flexi signal portable traffic light at the beginning of the questionnaire, so we have asked a question to identify whether the respondents can get the purpose of flexi signal or not. So majority of the respondents that represent 87.8% of all the responses say that they get the purpose of the flexi signal while the remaining 12.2% does not get what the flexi signal purposes. Then we also have asked the respondents whether they possess vehicles or not since we want to ensure that this questionnaire for concept testing have reached the right target audience. This figure shows the frequency of driving according to respondents where the frequency was divided into several categories. According to the figure, majority of the respondents drives 
their vehicles and be on the road every day that represents 77.2% of the responses. Six respondents, which is equivalent to 8% of responses, say that they drive several times a week. This shows that almost all of the respondents are road users and this is a good concept testing since they are included as our target market for flexi signal. So among all of the seven road issues listed, the top three most often issues experienced by road users are heavy traffic, road construction, unconditional weather, and building construction. In addition, we have also asked the respondents about the effectiveness of traffic flow in Malaysia. Based on the responses, 80% of them agreed that the traffic flow in Malaysia is ineffective and it also shows that flexi signal has the high potential to survive in the Malaysian market. In the questionnaire, we have asked the respondents about their preference between the use of human traffic guard and portable traffic light. Based on the figure above, 81.3% of the responses preferred portable traffic light. This shows a high potential of our product to success in the market. For the survey on the disadvantages of traffic guard, 72% of our respondents find that traffic guards cause inconsistent timing. Followed by 70.7% respondents find that traffic guards are impractical due to weather. 61.3% of respondents sees traffic guard as a disadvantage because it requires manpower. 60% respondents think that traffic guard poses a high safety risk. And lastly, 50.7% of respondents think that traffic guards are low visibility. Majority of the respondents, 89.3%, think that portable traffic light can replace the purpose of traffic guard. For the survey on the experience with portable traffic light, only 12% of our respondents have experienced the portable traffic light in their real life. For the survey on the improvisation features of the portable traffic light, 62.7% respondents voted for a countdown timer. 61.3% respondents agreed the portable traffic light should have a quick installation and removal. 54.7% respondents believe that a GPS satellite should be improvised in the portable traffic light. 50.7% of respondents believe that the portable traffic light should have a manual and auto override. And lastly, 32% of the respondents believe that the portable traffic light should have an extended pool. For the survey on impression of the portable traffic light, majority of the respondents think that the product will be helpful to them. For the survey on the price range, majority of the respondents voted for the price between 1000 to 2000 for the portable traffic light. For the survey on the consumer's intention on buying our product, majority of the respondents answered yes. In terms of the application of portable traffic light in Malaysia, majority of the respondents are agreed. So this is our final build 2D prototype. Ta-da! For the test marketing part, test marketing is important where it is to determine the consumer needs and whether the product is having the potential to meet the demand. So for our test marketing, we have conducted a survey that has been answered by 75 different background of respondents. We are considering two important matters, which is the first one is the effectiveness of our portable flex eye signal and the second one is the pricing of our portable flex eye signal. So for the first one, which is effectiveness of our portable flex eye signal, we believe that our product is much effective compared to the current existing method, which is human traffic guard. For the portable flex eye signal, we offer precision and consistency which can perform repetitive tasks with high precision and consistency which eliminating, helps eliminate the current existing method which is human traffic guard due to the fatigue. And the second one is the uh, pricing of our product which is portable flex eye signal. From our data, we believe that our product is reasonable and affordable to be purchased by the road users and authorities that will purchase our product. 
In a nutshell, we believe that our product will help in to change to the more effective way to control the traffic than the current existing method which is human traffic guide. And our product is a new product development which has been improvised and enhanced from the current existing product which is from the normal traffic light into the portable flex eye signal. I think that's all from us. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.